What I love about blacksmithing is that you can create anything you want. You can make pretty much anything you put your mind to as long as you have the techniques of it. And there's so many people you can learn from. It's, it's really fun. My name is Sabrina Kaler. Uh, I'm one of the owners of Kaler Forge and Leatherworks. Uh, there's four owners. It's myself, my older brother, my mom, and my dad. Um, we run Kaler Forge and Leatherworks in Green, Texas. We started our store uh, about last year, so we've been here about a year. We're a baby of the region, of the neighborhood. We started blacksmithing about four years ago, fell in love with it. We've trained with some of the most amazing blacksmiths I've ever met from all over the United States, and we had enough merchandise that we're like, let's try a shop. And it worked out really well. And here we are a year later. Um, and we just opened up a new store at the Pearl um, in downtown San Antonio. And about four months after we started blacksmithing, we started a nonprofit for vets and first responders. Uh, so we started the program Reforged. It's uh, therapeutic knife making for vets and first responders. Um, so it's a therapy program that we say is poorly disguised as a knife making class. And so that's a three day course program completely free that we offer. Um, and it's to help vets and first responders get peer support. Uh, we've been running that program about three and a half years now. Um, fell in love with that, of course. And we're like, well, this is going well, let's open a business. <laughs> and that's how this happened. We were just tourists in green one day and there was a for lease sign and we jumped on it. My favorite thing about blacksmithing is how creative you can be with it. You can make anything you want with the metal you have. Um, so a lot of blacksmiths will say that blacksmithing is like messing with hot Play-Doh because anything you want the metal to do, it will do as long as you have the right techniques. And of course it takes a long time to learn, but so does every type of artistry. Um, it's, a, it's a lesson that you gotta do. It's a time-staking process. There's a love to it. Um, you can fall in love with it and you can make wall decor, you can make sculptures and art, you can make guitars and things like that. You can make, you know, steak flippers, kitchen utensils, basically whatever you want to make. So there's a creativity with it. There's, it's unending if you have the imagination for it. My advice to anybody wanting to run a business for the first time is one, reach out, um, ask for help. I'd say learn, learn the laws you need to know, learn the paperwork you need to have in place, learn every bit and piece that you need to run the business because yeah, it's, it's cool to say, hey, I want to run something, I wanna be my own boss, but there's a lot that goes into it on the underside that a lot of people don't take into account. So there's the tax forms you need to know, there's the filing of your name, making sure you have a website. If you're going to run a website, you need to be able to do your social media. Um, you need to be able to pay your employees. So are they going to be contractors? Or are they going to be employees? So the people who work for you, how are you gonna care for them? What are your hours going to be? How, who's going to be managing your phone calls and your emails and anybody who comes in with questions? You know, that's, it's a lot. And so if you're one person trying to run your own business, it's really hard, which is why I'm thankful I had my family and that we have a good enough connection that you know the four of us were like, hey, we can do this all together. It's a lot of work. I think like perseverance of it, because if you're passionate about it, I'd say go for it. But you know, make sure you have the funding to do what you need to do. Maybe don't jump on a storefront immediately unless you can guarantee you can pay rent with your product every month. I think my favorite thing about owning a business here in Green, Texas is the community. So all of the shop owners I've met here have just been so loving. Like they are the sweetest people I've ever encountered. Everybody has welcomed us with open arms. It's been just amazing. And there's people I can ask questions. What am I supposed to do? How overwhelming is it? What is the season gonna be like? All the people here are able to give me those answers and they are just so incredibly nice. And we've also had people come over and ask for commissioned items or get items worked on. And then we go there and same thing. And we've just, I don't know, we feel like, we feel like we're part of the Green family now and we're really happy to be here. Um, but they've accepted us with open arms and I just, I am so incredibly thankful.